Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, obviously, it's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Uh, so, I've been messing around with the calibrations, you know me. And uh, I've been trying to determine, like, what is the best picture quality calibration for the games that you can spend a lot of time playing, you know, or live streaming. And I've been debating, debating, and I did some research and... And uh, the research I was doing on was the blue UV light that comes out of the panels and LEDs and just how much that blue UV light damages uh, just the people's health. Not just your eyes, but over time, your eyes. You know, it's not good to stare at the panel 24-7 or the screen for a long period of time. Uh, it can damage your retinas. But I also find out that the blue UV light, is, it's very dangerous for you. For your vision and also for your migraine for your headache for your vertigo that's what it does keeps you nauseous uh gives you a headache and uh it actually can make you feel weak so i have find out the best temperature color from the panel that's emitting this light because remember you you staring at the light at the lamp pretty much what you're staring at at the uh the screen so I find out that the warm two color, it's the best option for you health wise. So, and that's what I did here. Let me show you pretty much. I'm not using a game mode. The main reason I'm avoiding a game mode because I'm looking for a picture quality mode here. Okay, so I use the standard mode. The game mode, it's off. Even though game mode, it's something I would recommend if you're gonna be playing Call of Duty, but for games like this, that are native 4K and HDR, to truly appreciate the graphical fidelity and resolution and HDR, especially HDR, uh, you wanna make sure you turn the game mode off. Because game mode on will dec uh, decrease that quality. So, I'm on a standard mode expert settings <clears throat> backlit brightness and contrast it's always going to be like this guys because it's hdr so remember it always stays like this doesn't matter what tv you have backlit the contrast at maximum brightness of 50. sharpness i left it at the default 20. uh it's perfect it's a perfect uh balance in my opinion you know so i left it there at 20. color i went up a little bit 10 notches up from the, the default 50 i went up to 60 just to get a little bit of that color pop and then digital clean view i always keep this on automatic let my television turn it on by itself when i'm watching a cable uh auto motion plus i keep it on automatic that way you can reduce the uh, judder and the blur reduction automatically so the fast moving pictures can be uh, intact together without any lag. So keep that on automatic. Smart LEDs always keep them at high. Um, of course UHD color, you have to have it on in order to take the advantage of HDR. Dynamic contrast is high so I can get those deep dark levels and a higher peak brightness contrast from HDR. Now, here's the most important part. Color tone warm to. <clears throat> this is something I've been researching a lot on and you guys can research on this as well. Uh, warm to, it's definitely recommended. I went through uh, Digital Foundry, uh, Critchfield, uh, man, you name it. All of these professional calibrating websites and whatnot like professionals and even the eye doctors and they said the warm two it's definitely recommended because it keeps a temperature of emitting light to a color tone level that doesn't damage your eyes and that doesn't affect your health state wise uh, meaning that this orange color 
it's not totally orange, but that's what it is. It's yellowish orange, sepia-like. What it does, it reduces that blue UV light. And when you don't have that blue UV light, then you're not getting sick from that emitting blue UV light that's damaging your eyes and also making you sick, making you weak, making you nauseous, getting vertigos, migraines. This is the biggest problem of the migraines. It's staring at the television that has a lot of blue UV lights. And that's where your migraine comes in, okay? And of course, whatever food you ate, that migraine is gonna affect your uh, you know, processing, digestion, and you're gonna be vomiting. Okay, so uh, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just, this is what I have researched, okay? <clears throat> so I'm helping you guys out. So you wanna keep it on a warm too, all right? And uh, that's what I'm doing here. And you don't have to uh, you don't have to trust me you can contact uh, Tom or, or Richard from digital foundry and they're gonna tell you exactly that warm to it's highly highly recommended and of course gamma I keep it at the balanced level it was a mistake to move it down because if you move gamma down you're gonna be crushing the deep dark levels it's just not it's not don't don't do it. Just it was a mistake for me to do it, and I don't recommend it now. So don't do it. Leave gamma at zero. Color space. I used to use native, but then I find out it's better to let the TV decide what's the best color space settings for the uh, the content that I'm the, the content that I'm watching. Okay. And that's pretty much what I'm using here. And I think, honestly, this is uh, the best HDR picture calibration settings. You're not going to get a great performance here. There will be some input lag. But, however, you are going to get that picture uh, quality here for the HDR. This is going to look really great, honestly. And... Uh, I definitely recommend you try this out check it out and uh, let me know what you think I highly recommend this for those of you who spend a lot of time on your TV streaming you know and um, doing a lot of live stream via your TV you getting rid of that UV light, it's only going to, that blue UV light, it's only going to help you. That's why I recommend the warm two color. And this is something that was recommended by professionals, health wise. You know, you care about your health, of course. So you wanna make sure you use that blue UV light, man. Why do you think the, all those gamers are wearing the orange protective glasses? Because they wanna avoid that blue UV light that's emitting. Why do you think your iPhone has that warm two color on there? Why? To get rid of that blue UV light, okay? I use warm two color on pretty much all of my devices, all right? And I highly recommend you guys do that. But you're also getting a great picture quality here as well, okay? So I highly recommend this over a game mode because you're definitely gonna be getting a nice HDR quality here and you are really gonna be enjoying this. I guarantee you try it out Try these settings that I just implemented here and come back to me Let me know what you think And I guarantee you you're gonna enjoy them big time So that's all I have for you guys uh, this is really more of a, Like a health benefit but at the same time, a picture quality HDR benefit as well. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And um, everything I tell you here, you guys can research, Google it. Uh, this is not coming out of my butt. This is all done through research, guys. All right. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. And yes, I am a member of Digital Foundry. I'm subscribed to them. I pay for five bucks a month. So I suggest you guys do too. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. <clears throat>